Hello, and thank you for joining us. Synopsys recently announced the Designware Medium Density MVMIP, a brand new addition to its existing line of non-volatile memory IP. Today, I'll be talking to Angela Rauter, MVMIP Product Line Manager at Synopsys, about this exciting new product and its benefits to designers. Angela, first tell us what's so special about Medium Density NVMIP. So when talking with our customers, we realize that they need to increase the amount of non-volatile memory um, that they put on their analog ICs, mainly due to integrating microcontrollers or upgrading their microcontroller from an 8 or 16-bit to a 32-bit. Flash is not available in all those processes, um, or it is too expensive of an option. And this is why we created the Medium Density NVMIP. So they could add between 16K bits to 512K bits of non-volatile memory without additional masks or processing steps. This gives the customer the ability to add the required amount of memory on chip and save up to 25% in wafer costs. And the medium density NVMIP offers more than five times the density of lower bit count NVM solutions. That's a good description. Can you tell us what sets this IP apart from our existing NVM products? To achieve the density and the fast read times demanded by the application, we have made changes to the fundamental architecture we use on our current NVM products. It's still based on floating gate technology, but we've been able to make a much smaller bit cell that's 10 to 20 times smaller and use complex algorithms for the read and write operations. Great. In uh, what you've seen and discussions with customers, can you tell us what applications this IP is ideal for? There are a number of them. But some of the most common would be power management ICs, smart sensors, or motor control. What about process nodes? What process nodes is this IP available in? Today, it's available in 180 nanometer, 5 volt CMOS, and BCD processes. But we're looking to expand that um, to the amount of nodes we support. And why these process nodes? For two reasons. First, uh, they're the most common use process nodes for customers developing analog ICs in the target applications. And second, embedded flash is not supported in these nodes, so the medium density in VMIP fills a big gap in the market. We will be including process nodes where embedded flash does exist as well, because there's still a significant need for medium density in VMIP to save the cost of extra mass needed by flash, which should be more than 25%. Some of the benefits you've outlined so far are the ability to add 16K bits to 512K bits of non-volatile memory without the additional masks or processing steps. The five times more density versus lower bit count NVM solutions. Also the 25% cost savings or die cost savings that medium density NVM IP offers. Anything else you would like to share with our viewers about the new IP? We also wanted to tackle other key concerns of many designers, such as IP quality and integration risk. Achieving first pass silicon success and reducing the risk of customer returns is a high priority. This is why we will still maintain a simple interface to our memory with easy to use documentation and back it up with the really experienced support staff. We also offer the IP with error checking and correction functionality implemented in a variety of test modes to ensure long-term reliability. You mentioned quality. Quality mm -hmm. is a key element in reducing IP integration risk. Can you talk a little bit about quality and how Synopsys ensures that the NVM IP is qualified? Well, our designware NVM IP is tested and qualified in our own labs um, using procedures that go above and beyond what's required by industry standards, such as JEDEC or AACQ100. So our customers know right away the IP meets stringent requirements uh, for industrial, consumer, and automotive applications. Before we close, can you tell our viewers about our NVM IP portfolio. Beyond the newly introduced medium density NVM IP, we have a broad portfolio of application targeted product families meeting different needs for power, area, and write cycles. This includes our high endurance double EEPROM family and processes from 250 down to 40 nanometer, an ultra low power IP family optimized for applications such as RFID, NFC tags, and wireless sensors, and an area optimized trim IP for analog ICs and sensors. Synopsys Designware NVM IP portfolio is implemented in standard CMOS and BCD processes with no additional masks or process steps. Thank you, Angela. I hope we gave you a good glimpse of the Designware Medium Density NVM IP. For more information, visit synopsys.com, especially if you're developing analog IC, need additional memory, 
and are looking for more reliable memory IP. Thank you for watching.